tonight's Green Report, there could be trouble brewing at the San Onofre nuclear power plant in California. Earlier this year, a tube broke in one of the plant's steam generators, leading to a release of radiation and endangering the 7.4 million Californians who live within 50 miles of San Onofre. Now a team of federal investigators has concluded the cause of that leak was a major design flaw within the reactors, causing its parts to malfunction. The plant has been shut down since the leak in January, but its operators want the plant restarted. Meanwhile, the environmental group Friends of the Earth has filed a legal petition with the NRC to keep the reactors of San Onofre shut down until the design flaws can be fixed. So just how dangerous is the San Onofre nuclear plant? And is the NRC doing enough to keep Americans living around nuclear power plants safe? Paul Gunter joins me now. He's the director of the Reactor Oversight Project at BeyondNuclear.org. Thanks again, Tom. Paul, welcome back. Thank you. Um, first of all, what you guys broke this story about San, uh, San Onofre on this show, as I recall. It, it was the you were here, uh, either you or Kevin were here the night that it happened. It's and been it, this uh, this issue uh, further demonstrates that NRC stands for no regulatory control, yeah. and in fact, our major concern here is that uh, the drive to get this reactor back online uh, is is profit driven. Uh, rather than safety-minded, and uh, I mean, basically, the NRC is uh, abrogating its mandate for public health and safety. This this problem goes back to the fact that um, the uh, San Onofre nuclear power station uh, was is looking to get more power out of this reactor and without with less oversight, mm -hmm. and that's that's precisely the point here is that with the less oversight they basically got a bad design uh, that was put into this plant chiefly to raise the power but it basically is rattling loose i understand that the the, the steam turbine that was put in at the cost of almost a billion dollars uh, was supposed to last 30 years how long has it lasted 10 months that's about it. that was the operational time and and they and so they want to restart it it, they, they realize that they can't run it at full power because it just can't handle that because of these design flaws. What's their, what's their option? Well, the, the, uh, the idea of the steam generator is to, is to uh, you know, high pressure uh, water, the superheated in the reactor driven into the steam generator, and it goes through all these tubes. There's about 10,000 tubes in one of these generators. Mm -hmm. And in fact, the San Onofre design was modified so that they could get more, cram more tubes in there. And what, what's happened now is that that did not provide oversight for the fact that these things now crammed tighter together. They've been rattling and chafing, and in uh, a number of tubes, they've taken about 90% of the tube wall has just worn away. Wow. And, uh, you know, we've known for uh, more than two decades now that if, if these tubes break, if one breaks, it could cascade in a, in a guillotine effect because these things are under extremely high pressure, like 2,000 pounds per square inch. And it would, if the steam jet comes out, it could cause a guillotine effect that starts cutting more and more of these tubes. And so you get, a, you know, basically a loss of coolant accident that will bypass a containment. It, a, a accident that has the potential of bypassing containment. So it, you know, rather than just blow the containment apart, it basically finds an escape route that can't be shut off. At the same time, you're losing coolant, and right. this is this is what they're gambling. Which is which is all techno speak for the core could melt down. That they could lose uh, core cooling and they could melt the reactor and they have an open door to the environment. Holy cow! Um, what's the and and it, what what is or can be done about this? Shut it down. Yeah, I mean, this plant should not be allowed to come back online. Um, so the I think there, there's a local effort to make that happen? Yes, and it's actually uh, uh, Friends of the Earth is leading a, a national okay. effort. Very quick. We just have 20 seconds left. Uh, what's the latest on Fukushima and our, our fish radioactive? Well, you know, Chernobyl to the ocean is now demonstrating that uh, we've got a scientific study now from Stanford University and Stony Brook University that shows the migrating bluefin t uh, tuna that spawn off the coast of Japan and then feed off the coast of California, where they're also part of a commercial fishing operation. Um, 
each time they go back and forth across the North Atlantic, they're picking up more and more cesium-137. Cesium and this is going to go on now for 300 to 600 years. Wow. Paul Gunter, thank yeah, you thank so you. much no for nukes. the great work you're doing. Amen. No nukes, uh, beyondnuclear.org. We'll continue to keep a close eye on the San Onofre plant and all the other dangers lurking behind nuclear power in America and the rest of the world.